We're talking to Huskies head coach Brian Towers, uh, entering your 30th year. Yeah, uh, at the it's helm gone fast. Here. Yeah, yeah, we bet. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a position preview today uh, before camp. Camp starts on uh, well, testing's on Thursday. Yeah, we got testing Thursday, and then uh, we'll run with two days for uh, from Friday through next Wednesday, and uh, and uh, you know we're going to get a good uh, you know 12, 14 practices in before our first game. Right. Um, so starting with the quarterbacks, um, obviously uh, Drew's the guy there, uh, but you must feel uh, pretty secure, um, you know, judging by the performances of uh, Matt Wanaka and and uh, Tarasov uh, in spring camp that you got some pretty good security there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those other guys are young and they're still learning for sure, but. Uh, you know, they're not far behind where Drew was last year when, when he got the ball. So we're, we're kind of real interested to see what they've done over the summer. You know, Matt's been back home in Edmonton, and uh, and uh, I'm sure he's thrown the ball a lot. So uh, that first week of training camp, and, uh, you know, those guys are probably going to get a quarter each in the, in the non-conference game, maybe a little bit more, and uh, we'll come out of that with a backup. Great. Uh, and uh, moving on to running back, uh, Dexter looks like uh, he's... Uh, uh, the first guy there, uh, but you've got some pretty good depth after him as well, um, including uh, uh, guys like uh, Devin Logan and uh, and uh, Jarvis James. Yeah, we're, we're a lot more experienced than we were a year ago for sure. Uh, first of all, you know, Dex has worked so hard to come back from that uh, knee injury. This is the second time he's had to do it since he's been here. So I know he's chomping at the bit, and uh, we'd love to get him back in there. He's uh, There's no question he's a talent. And, uh, and should be one of the top backs in the league. So we want to get him back. Uh, you know, we got Buchanan and Andrew that got lots of experience last year. Uh, Logan and James look good in the spring. So uh, we got those guys, and actually Jared Lambert's going to return, and we're going to put him at running back start the year as well. So we got a little more depth than we've had in the past, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, to seeing what we got in that right. position. And at uh, receiver, receiver's probably as deep as it's been in uh, probably a decade here. Uh, um, you got a lot of fourth and fifth year guys uh, here, but I think the, the biggest impact might come from some of the first and second year guys. Yeah, we got we got some fourth and fifth year guys that have been great players for us and will continue to be great players for us. But we got some young guys that are, are certainly pushing them. Uh, Jelan Lynch is uh, good. Uh, they've uh, you know Young Hellis is going to be a great player for us as well as Braden Os Bryden Osmond is, is going to be a great player too. So that'd okay. be great. Um, and uh, uh, moving on to the offensive line, uh, you've, uh, that's another deep area for you. Uh, um, you probably know who uh, you know your your you know first uh, about seven or eight guys are there, but uh, who are some of the younger guys who are going to come off the bench? Well, we're pretty. Uh, I think we're pretty solid on our top six coming out of spring if everybody stays healthy. But uh, you know, Mason Dick had a great uh, gr great spring camp for us. He's a freshman out of uh, Winnipeg for us, and. Uh, you know, a couple second-year guys. Evan Johnson uh, had a great spring camp for us as well. He's going to push a couple third-year guys in Reader and uh, Brandon Steffen uh, to to sneak into that top seven or eight. And uh, you know, we want to use Johnson some other things because he can run, and uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, doing some special team stuff for us as well. So, uh, as I say, I think we're pretty solid on our front six uh, or our first six. Uh, uh, Big Tex is, is back as well, uh, healthy now with uh, getting his arm fixed up. So he should be in the mix as well. So, you know, as the year goes on, I think we're going to have uh, nine or ten guys that should be able to play. Right. And for those who don't know, Big Tex is uh, Ryan Bredner, who uh, is about six foot eight. Uh, uh, so uh, he'll be uh, definitely one to watch in the future there. Uh, on the defensive line, uh, uh, Rabinsky and uh, Levi Steinhauer have uh, both uh, moved on, um, but I think you've got, still got some pretty good uh, talent and uh, depth there, uh, especially getting uh, Clayton Sarich and guys like that. Yeah, you know, Sarich is going to be big. He'll uh, step in and play for where David was for sure, and uh, Clayton's a great run stopper. Uh, he's really strong. He's uh, low to the ground, has great leverage, and uh, he's going to be good. I think Garrett makes it. Young, another young recruit that uh, will play sooner rather than later. He was one of the most sought-after defensive linemen in Western Canada. We're very happy to have him here. Um, I think it also allows us to maybe move Tarinsky to the edge now that we've lost Steinhauer. So uh, we're going to look at Braden on the outside. He will play both inside and outside. We've still got Ben Rush and uh, and uh, suits for another year out there as well. And Zach Hart can go out there if he has to. So we have a little bit of depth, uh, maybe not as much as we thought. We, we kind of thought we might get Levi back for another year, but uh, all the more power to him. He, he's had a great start to his CFL career. Right. Uh, linebacker is looking really good. That could be one of the more uh, 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 
big or one of the biggest uh, uh, battles at camp because there's a lot of uh, experienced uh, um, guys looking for a playing time there. Yeah, we you know we thought in the spring that we had six guys for two spots and uh, and who's going to start? I don't know. Ronald Mwamba's come along very well. He's played good. Uh, Zacharias is a returning starter from last year. Uh, Dylan Camp coming over from the Hilltops. Uh, has experience and he's very quick and uh, and Dane Bishop is, is solid in there too. So, you know, those four guys I think were, were kind of the top uh, four in the spring. We'll see what camp brings. There's a couple other guys that could get into the mix as well. But, uh, you know, we got to decide on two, two starters there and uh, two more guys that will play maybe in special situations. And uh, and uh, I know they can all help us on special teams. Right. Uh, and uh, at defensive back, um, You've got uh, Seamus back there now again. Uh, you've, you've graduated three guys, but um, you've still you brought in some good talent uh, with Waldron and uh, and uh, and a few other guys there. Uh, how's that shaping up for Ken? Well, you, you know, I think we Mark Ingram was a was a huge recruit for us. Uh, he gives us some flexibility. He's a very good cover guy coming out of junior football. Uh, Waldron's been a great zone player for the Hilltops, uh, and uh, you know we had a couple young guys last year. Uh, uh, Jeff Hughes has been uh, all over the field on special teams for us for two years and uh, he's going to get a chance to start for us someplace this year and uh, we know he's a good football player. Uh, he'll be in the mix somewhere. Uh, Braxton Lawrence, an all-star from last year, he'll be back and Travoy will be back with a little bit of uh, a season of Canadian football under his belt. And uh, you know, uh, Keegan Arniak's another one of those real quick kids that mm -hmm. uh, we recruited last year. Uh, who was injured most last year with the, the broken scaphoid, but uh, he's healthy and uh, should have an impact this year. Well, and speaking of Keegan, he could uh, earn a spot uh, as a returner there, and uh, I think your return game is looking uh, solid as usual, and the uh, uh, kicking game is actually looking pretty good now too. Yeah, Denton was very good in the spring, uh, doing both this year. Uh, you know, he had a great year punting for us last year, but it looked like his, his field goals have been improved. He's worked hard over the winter and uh, is really settled in academically as well. So, um, you know, Denton will do a great job for us, We've got a couple other young kickers that are working that have lots of potential as well, and uh, we should be real explosive at returns. With uh, uh, you know, uh, McGinnis is coming over. He was a good junior return guy. Uh, Lambert was a great return guy for us when he was here before. Travoy's got some explosiveness on kickoffs, and uh, uh, as well as Hillis and uh, and a couple other guys. So you know, I think that area of uh, our game is going to be solid and uh, and could potentially be uh, some change some field position for those right. guys. Right. And uh, the uh, non-conference game against UBC is uh, Thursday, or sorry, Friday, uh, August 23rd, and, um, and tickets are available, I believe, now. If they're not, check uh, uh, huskies.usas.ca. And uh, thanks, BT, for yep. this. Thanks and, a lot, Dallas. Look forward to the year. Look forward to it. And uh, check huskyoutsider.com for all your Husky information, sideline to sideline, during the training camp.